Hi, I'm Bron Smith. This short lesson is part of a series called Countries of the World. Today's lesson is a quiz on North America, Canada, Mexico and the USA. 20 questions, 35 points. Let's see how you do. Number 1. Name the capital cities of these countries for 3 points. Canada, Mexico and the USA. The answers, Canada is Ottawa, Mexico, Mexico City, the USA, Washington DC. 2. Canada is the third, second, fourth or fifth largest country in the world. The answer, Canada is the second largest country in the world. 3. The USA is the third, second, fourth or fifth largest country in the world. The answer, the USA is the third largest country in the world. 4. In which countries would you visit the following places? For three points, Sumidero Canyon National Park, Banff National Park and Yosemite National Park. Sumidero Canyon National Park you would visit in Mexico, Banff National Park in Canada, and Yosemite National Park in the USA. 5. What are the official languages of these countries? For three points, Canada, Mexico and the United States. In Canada, it is English and French. In Mexico, Spanish. In the United States of America, English. 6. The Grand Canyon is in Florida, California, Arizona or Canada. The answer, the Grand Canyon is in Arizona. 7. The USA consists of 52 states, 53 states, 50 states or 51 states? The answer, the USA consists of 50 states. 8. In what year did Mexico become independent? The answer, 1810. 9. In which US state would you find Disneyland? The answer, California. 10. Match the three countries to the appropriate description for three points. Again, the countries Canada, Mexico and the United States. The descriptions two mountain ranges occupy about 75% of the total land area. Has two neighbors, one in the north and one in the south. And the third description, the majority of the population lives close to the border with their southern neighbor. The answer, in Canada, the majority of the population lives close to the border with their southern neighbor. In Mexico, two mountain ranges occupy about 75% of the total land area. The United States has two neighbors, one in the north and one in the south. 11. Name two states in the U.S. where Spanish is widely spoken for two points. The answer, California and Florida, but also Texas, Arizona, New Mexico and Kansas. 12. In what U.S. city will you find Hollywood? The answer, Los Angeles. 13. What is considered a symbol of Mexico's capital? The Mexico City Metropolitan Cathedral, the Palace of Fine Arts, the Frida Kahlo Museum, or the Angel of Independence? The answer, the Angel of Independence. 14. In which U.S. city is the Statue of Liberty? The answer, New York City. 15. 
In what Canadian city will you find the CN Tower? Is it in Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver or Winnipeg? The answer, Toronto. 16. Match the three countries to their populations, estimated in 2020 for three points. The populations, 320 million people, 36 million people and 130 million people. The correct answer is Canada, 36 million people, Mexico, 130 million people and the United States, 320 million people. 17. What river is on the border between the US and Mexico? Is it the St. Lawrence River, the Mississippi River, the Rio Grande or the Colorado River? The answer, the Rio Grande. 18. Which island is the world's largest and lies east of the Canadian Arctic? Is it Baffin Island, Iceland, Greenland or Victoria Island? The answer, Greenland is the world's largest island and lies east of the Canadian Arctic. 19. Which two countries border on Mexico in the south? Is it Belize and Costa Rica, Canada and the United States, Guatemala and Honduras, or Belize and Guatemala? The answer, Belize and Guatemala border on Mexico in the south. And 20. In which countries would you find the following cities? Cancun, Montreal, Tijuana, Winnipeg, and San Jose. The answer, Cancun is in Mexico, Montreal in Canada, Tijuana in Mexico, Winnipeg in Canada, and San Jose in the USA. The total is 35 points. How did you do? Thank you for watching this lesson or enjoying the quiz from the Countries of the World series. Teachers, if you are interested in purchasing the printable PDF lesson with answer key with the presentation used for this video, please go to EssentialLanguageResources.com. Students, if you are interested in booking an online class, please go to EnglishClass.today. Both links are provided in the description. See you in the next lesson and remember to give the video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe if you want to see more useful lessons.